All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Well, we're starting this video up in some grass. It's about 90 degrees out, but I'm trying to get some bait for tomorrow. You know, try to do some meat fishing. So, need some bait. So, I'm probably gonna do 50 50 jigs and bait. I'm looking for some big fiddler crabs. I call them red joints typically. I don't know if that's a common sl slang, but the larger species of fiddler crabs. I now live closer to fiddler crabs. So, uh, so I gotta comb through this grassy area. Can we just walk around. See, look at them all running out of there. But I've got bucket in one hand, camera in the other. But you see how they just do that? I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, somewhere in there. Yeah, you see that guy right there? Oops. It's a mud fiddler crab, right? These fiddler crabs are generally quite a bit larger than the other crabs and um, they're kind of my preferred bait. They tend to be more brackish areas, areas that can be a little harder to get to as well. And the good thing about them though, they are a little bit slower, not that much slower, but yeah, they're not too hard to get them. The ones with the big claws are the slowest usually. Gotta lug around on that claw weight. Let's see them. Yep. Oh, got him. Yeah, that's a good one. Can try to get about three, four dozen of those. Let go. Let go. I try to be careful too, they're easy to crush. You can crush them there, it's no good either. All right, oh, this gives you an idea, man. Um, it'll probably take me about 30, 40 minutes to get, yeah, there's a bunch of them in here. But um, this will take me about 30, 40 minutes to get a bunch more. And I'll figure I'm gonna get about four dozen, keep them on ice overnight, but yeah. Big bait for a big fish, right? This is great cardio, I didn't realize that. That's one thing I learned, is that that, that, that sprinting motion, if you're good, quick, quick on your feet, it'll always help. Got him, ah, get him. You come with me. And then uh, let's get started tomorrow morning try to catch some fish we can eat, you know what I'm saying? So get bait first and then uh, put them in a cooler overnight. A little styrofoam bucket, should do pretty good. We're gonna fish these jetty rocks right here. I've got fiddler crabs. Uh, we're gonna look for, we're probably gonna look for some convicts primarily, but uh, we'll see what, other, what else ends up showing up. It's got a really fast tide right now, so we'll see what we can do. And uh, one another funny aside, it finally happened. I think I've been doing this fishing stuff for a while and subconsciously I've been um, gripping the braided line when I'm tying it down with my teeth and I finally chipped the front tooth while gripping fishing line. I know you're not supposed to do that and I knew you weren't supposed to do that. Uh, subconsciously I was doing it um, and I know a lot of people that do it so uh, you know if you're somebody I know that does that here's my uh, well, here's my warning, right? PSA, whatever you want to call it. It'll happen eventually if you fish enough, I guess. I'm just gonna do a little jigging real quick here. It's a Mackinac shad. I had tied on from the Finger Lakes. Got some structure here to jig on. Let's see what happens. Not, not even a hook in them. What are you doing, man? All right, let's drop some crabs down. My favorite. This is what I want. Really, what I want to do. All right. So I've got myself a healthy bucket of fiddler crabs right here. Whoa, baby! Don't you? Don't I gotta be quick there. 
So I'm just gonna break off. I usually like to break off the claw, but I'm just gonna hook them like this. And send them down to the bottom. First spot was kind of a bust. Just, just Larry the lizard fish. Let's see what spot two's got. Got him. First bite. Let's see what it is. No landing net, so this will be interesting. This feels like it could be. I think it's a fish we want to see. That feels like a sheep's head. It is. Oh my gosh, what a donkey. No net. What a goog. What a goog. in about 35 feet of water. It's a deep one. Oh, I barely have him hooked. Barely, barely, barely. I left my net at home. What an idiot I am. All right, let's try to go for a lip grip. Leg lift might work too. Oh, we got him. <laughs> what a goog I am. <laughs> Don't ever try to felt that spine right there. Came out here for some nice quality sheep's head. That's definitely one of them. Jeez Louise, hog. Let's take a quick measurement. I'm gonna let this fish go, man. I prefer to put the real big ones back. Probably about 20, 23 and a half. It's a pretty nice one. Good sheep's head there. I'm gonna keep a couple, but I don't wanna keep the big ones. Yeah, there's, there's no shame in keeping it, but somebody gets the fish regularly, I prefer to just put them back. To me, it makes more sense to keep them swimming in the water. And with most fish, you know, the mid-size range ones taste better, so. But most of my bigger ones around here seem to be in that 25 to 30 foot zone. All right, so we're gonna hook our fiddler crab like this on our sweeper. I'm trying to get my next bite here. It's hot, proven to be difficult. Those big sheeps that could be in, you know, tiny packs of one or two. Got a school of pogies going by. Menhaden. And it's kind of lumpy out here. I'm not gonna lie. But I'm gonna make my do here. My my lemons. When you get hand lemons, man, there's a lot of fish here. That looks like small sea bass. But let's see what it is. Got a lot of, no shortage of small sea bass around these parts. Nice fish there. Feels like something different. Looks like I got something different here. Oh, looks like looks like I'm not going home hungry at least. Nice sheep's head there. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Summertime sheep's head fishing. Great to eat. They don't freeze that well in my opinion, but I'm gonna keep one fish for dinner. If there were any others we'll put back and that's gosh, these fish are kind of hard. And yeah, 19, 19 and a half, that's a perfect eater right there. Those teeth, man. <laughs> I always like checking them out. All right, let me just drop another. I got a couple of crabs left, not too many. Maybe five or ten. It's been a slow morning, man. It took me a while to find a couple of fish, and at least I found these. Yeah, 
Yeah, these are no good. Seem to be the majority of what I'm catching is these small black sea bass. Need a little better conditions for this game too. Toadfish? Nope. Gosh, what a fish. Could be a big red, right? Good bite. Hey man, we got drag a little loose there for sheep's head. Oh man, got ourselves a nice fish here. Go red drum. No, 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 I'm in a bad spot right here. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Bad spot, bad spot, bad spot. Getting pushed around by boat wakes. Okay, good. Lucky day here. Yeah, it's a red. A good one at that. My track was a little too loose, I think. But hey. Let's thank this guy for biting. Got myself a nice slot red right there. I'm gonna put this fish back. Already got meat, so I'm good. Pretty red. They, they taste pretty good too, but uh, I like sheep's head better. Well, let's get this sheep's head on ice and get back on it. I haven't caught a whole lot of fish today, but size has been pretty good. Up. Seems like that's how it usually goes. It's like big fish or uh, and no less numbers or small fish and lots of numbers. <laughs> Today's a rough day in the boat wake department though. And the setup here, this is a pen slammer. Uh, 2,500, I've got 20 pound braid on. I really like these new pen slammers. And uh, this is the Jigging World Night Ranger, medium heavy. I had that drag a little loose because I was fighting that sheep's head earlier. So when that red hit it, it's a little loo more loose than I normally would have it. Wow, that's so cool, jet skis. Yep, I think this is when I stopped fishing uh, midday this time of year. I think my midday fishing's over for the year. Oh, the toad. This was eating my last fiddler crab. These guys are seen in aquariums. They do look pretty cool when they go in the aquarium. Get myself back to the car now. So only one sheep's head for dinner, but it's a good size one. And uh, one red and one really nice sheep's head. That one is probably a good chance that's going to be the biggest one of the year. Tough bite. Conditions were not very conducive. Got really strong tides. A little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a roll coming down. And insane amount of summer boat traffic, as expected. But the weather was pretty good. Not much wind, but it's been blowing a lot of east winds. And, you know, ocean hasn't been settled for POS boat, a five mile boat. Let me get myself back to the beach. As always guys, thanks for watching. Check the video's description for links to everything we used. We ended up fishing with a three quarter ounce bottom sweeper. Uh, jigs were absolutely just littered with lizard fish this go. So, hey, that's how it is sometimes. Keep the line out of your teeth. I think even putting the pressure of cinching down and clenching so hard, uh, it, it'll do it. That's probably why it, it does it. It's not really that you're trying to, I'm not trying to cut line with my teeth. I'm just holding it. And still, yeah, our tooth gave out. So 
Yeah, that's how it goes. Right, man. Summertime. Catch you for your next video.